As some of you may or may not know, I've been having issues with my PlayStation 5. I even made a video previously about several different issues that I'm having, but this time we're just going to be talking about the audio issues. Basically, I can't get the audio from the PlayStation 5 to my Streamlabs so that you guys can hear it while I can hear the gameplay as well. That sounds confusing. I had to choose whether I get to hear the audio or you guys get to hear the audio. And when you're playing a game like Call of Duty Warzone, where listening to enemy footsteps is a crucial part of the game, this is really important and it's a pretty big deal that the last few games that I've been winning, I couldn't really stream it online because I couldn't get the audio, nor could I even speak to my own friends over the chat. So it's either I hear them or you hear them. What I did was I purchased this Elgato chat link I looked at a bunch of videos and it said that the Elgato chat link should solve this problem. I already have an Elgato HD60 S Plus and it's in between my PlayStation 5 and my uh, Predator X34P monitor and it's also plugged into my laptop. And it's supposed to take the image and video, uh, sorry, the video and audio from the PlayStation 5 and split it to the monitor so that I can play and so that you guys can also see it as well as a display capture. As you can see, it's right here on Amazon for 10 bucks. It wasn't that big of a deal. I figured, you know what, let me give it a shot. I really hope it works. And here it is two days later, and I'm not kidding. You purchased this item on January 25th. And if you look at the bottom right, it's January 27th. So everything is literally as I'm getting it. And if it works, you guys get to see that it works. And if it doesn't, you'll see that it doesn't work. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those who are just looking for the answer. If you're just looking for the answer, just go ahead and just scroll forward. How do you open this shit? This is like some crazy. Okay. We're going to get it like that. Get rid of that later. And here it is, an original Elgato chat link cable system. I might not even have all the parts. I might not even have all the wires necessary. In the back, it says that this audio adapter is for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. That doesn't matter. I have a PlayStation 5. And it says easily record streams. Elgato, using your Elgato Game Capture HD60, HD60S, or HD60 Pro. I have the S. Okay, I obviously opened it like shit, because there's no returning something like that. And don't forget to catch my previous videos about other issues I've been having with the PlayStation 5. Video issues as well. Frame issues. Kind of not living up to its name issues kind of stuff. And basically this is the wire. This should go into the back of the base of my headphones. I knew it. I'm missing a wire. What wire am I missing? All right, I'm back. I'm sorry that I had to step out. The missing cable is this aux cable. It's a three feet, 3.5 millimeter that I thought actually came with my headphones, but I didn't have it in my headphones. I thought maybe it had extra one laying around. Long story short, I didn't have it. And you do need that when you're using the Elgato chat link system. It didn't look like it in the beginning, but if you actually see it here, This is the cable, and then this is what it would look like. So here's the cable plugged in to the controller, and then here's the other end plugged into the HD60S Plus. And this piece from this cut right here that goes around to the headphones is the aux cable that I needed. 
Now, my headphones, they don't have an auxiliary port on the actual headphones itself, but it is on the base. And if you look, I do have the Astro A50s. These are the gaming headsets that I use right now. $300 and sold out still. I've had these headphones for a while. I'm sure they like released them here and there in and out, but sold out. I have the PC Mac version that's also compatible with PlayStation 4. There are several different versions of this, but this is the version that I have. And in the back of the dock, of the stand, you'll see that there's an auxiliary port. And that's where you're going to be plugging in uh, the other end of this wire. Now, I didn't want to bore you guys. So I went ahead and I plugged everything in and I can now confirm that the Elgato chat link system does solve the audio issues that I'm having where I can't get it to go to you guys and my headset at the same time. It did require a lot of tweaking of the settings. What I'm going to do now is just quickly show you everything that I needed to do beforehand and then all the settings that I needed to do on the PlayStation. So let's just uh, dive right into that. First things first, I'll show you right here on my screen record. You have to open your Elgato 4K utility. For those using the Elgato HD 60, you have to use the Game Capture HD down here. And for those using the HD 60 S Plus, you have to use the 4K Capture utility. Let's go ahead and open that up. Here's the program. Oh, it's because it's used is being used by another software. Crap. When you're here, you hit you hit the gearbox that's on the top right. Under devices, under video input. Right now for me it says no signal. For you, you're gonna see an option for your audio and you're going to just change it from HDMI audio to analog audio. You can probably find other YouTube videos, but basically that's where it would be. It would just be right there under settings, then under devices, video input, look for audio and make sure you have analog audio highlighted. And then you're done with that. You can leave the 4k capture. Just make sure you apply and you save it. And then what you're going to do is basically we're going to go into the PlayStation settings and I'm going to show you exactly what settings I have so that it works perfectly for you guys. Let's uh, actually go right ahead to the PlayStation. There it is. Here are the headphones. We're going to get these on. And you can see that, or actually you guys can hear that you can hear the music from the game as well as the fact that I can hear it, which was a major problem. Now let me show you the settings. After you change the settings and you get the audio, you your audio might sound a little messed up in the beginning. So I'll show you how to go ahead and adjust that. Go to settings. Actually, you don't have to even have to do that. I'm sorry, I'm used to the PlayStation 4 so much. You push the PlayStation button, and then you go right here to sound. And make sure you have highlighted headphones controller. And then under microphone, go under mic and make sure you have your uh, headphone of choice selected. Now the way you guys are hearing me is not through the game, but you're actually hearing me through this uh, Rode NT1A and this is connected straight into my Rode Procaster Where is it? Okay Once you have this set you should get the audio to your headphones From here. I heard complaints that people said oh, I can't really hear the game I can't really hear the people in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. 
Actually, before we even go to the game settings, we're going to go over here to the settings. Go to sound. And then right here, volume. For some reason, mine was like on half. So make sure you raise that all the way. If you, for some reason, can't hear the game audio. Microphone level, you want to just check on that, adjust everything. And don't touch the input device that's already set to the USB headset. Now in the game itself, we're going to log in. Press start, and then we're going to go over to audio. I usually had these on 40 or 30 even, and now I raised it to 60 and 80. Oh, they're all on 80 actually. Yeah, they're all on 80 now. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, what I did was I increased my voice chat volume to 120. And then I increased my mic threshold from 3.15 to 2.0. And from what I hear, I asked a couple of my buddies, hey, how do I sound? They said I sound perfect. I can hear them perfectly. You will be able to hear them perfectly. And that was the main point of all of this, is that so that you guys can hear me using the mic, this mic while hearing my party chat and the gameplay at the same time while I can hear it as well through these headphones. Let's see if any of these guys have any headphones. Hey guys, anybody there? Any mics, any mics? What's up brother, I hear you. And this is just a minor test. We're not going to play this whole game. I'm just going to show you that you can finally hear everything perfectly. No more popping sounds like you heard in my last video. When I spoke about these issues, there were some major popping audio sounds. Enemy soldier Mike wasn't coming. working. Check your gear and weapons. Planes are making ready for deployment. Game chat wasn't working. It just, it was just horrible. Let's see if they hear us. Anybody there got a mic? Yeah, what's it? Yo, what's up, bro? Oh. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's making this guy. That man. Ah, you would have been dead, lucky guy. Lucky. Oh shit. Click full of bad bitches. Where are we going? Battle Royale. Hmm? Mark a drop point for your team. You'll lead them in.
far out that door. Uh, Let's go. Enemy UAV overhead. Supply box ready for pickup. Next objective located. There's an LMG. What's hilarious is that I'm I'm playing this watching the Elgato stream. I'm not even watching the actual Enemy UAV overhead. video output from the PlayStation. And it's literally instant that I can Next actually play location. watching the stream. Marking AR. Get that out of it. Come to buy. Come buy. These guys are probably gonna hate me, but come on, come on. But there it is. Everything was working perfectly. I can finally stream. And it definitely took like about a month. I bought the PlayStation December 29th. And it's now January 28th. Had to get like two different cables. I tried so many different things before. I mean, I even almost gave up using these cables. Because when I did connect it for about 30 minutes... I was fidgeting with everything, trying to find out why I can't get the audio. I was switching the settings on the PlayStation side. I was switching the settings on the Streamlabs OBS side. And I was switching the settings on the 4K utility capture card side. And finally, through some magic and some thorough, thorough, detailed research, I did get it to work. I did fix whatever audio issues I was having with the frequency sound. And basically, it does work. You should go get yourself an Elgato chat link. Don't forget your audio cable on top of that. If this video helped you guys out, please, please like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And hit that notification bell because I will be making a lot more videos and a lot more updates. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Peace.